Cavern of Chaos. Oh, and it's one of these two. <sighs> well, I guess I'm proof in the cave. What's in store for us here? Oh, I forgot. We can see everything because of the stellar orb that we got. Oh, hey. Well, I showed off the the thing. Uh, uh. <sighs> well, I don't think that Easter egg is going to last long. Whenever I have 20 of each kind of Pikmin in my squad, they'll actually sing a snippet of Tain no Uta, I believe it's called, which is a song released in Japan to commemorate Pikmin's release, and it received a lot of widespread popularity. Alright, I need to remember that I, as the president, am not immune to electricity. There's a marble there. Here, you guys carry that. And that should be able to get by unscathed. Maybe. Oh, they're taking it. Oh, snap. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I forgot that I'm not immune to electricity, even though I literally just told myself that I, I'm not. Whistle them. Uh, That's not a good sign. Taking damage so early on in the cave. All right, so we got the mar marble back. This is going to be one of those caves, in fact, all of these will, where I don't need to defeat all of the enemies. There's just not a purpose for it. Mirth Sphere. Oh, that's that's pretty. And there's, there's the end slate. There we go. Future Pal, you're welcome for making a conscious decision and not making it difficult for you. All right, so I'm proof in the cave. There shouldn't be any enemy, or not enemies, traps. Any more traps? Uh, I say shouldn't, not because I know. But because I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm being optimistic. Ugh. Okay, so first I'll make one proofing run. Punching all of the bomb rocks. Because that, that's important. Alright, so all of the bomb rocks have been destroyed. One of the enemies is down to, oh, one of the enemies is dead, alright. The other one's down to half HP. And then the other proofing run... I might as well kill this guy. Just wait for him to do that, and... There. Alright, stagger the thing. And... Take him down! You can see I consciously aimed my cursor there as to not throw Pikmin off the, the ledge. Please don't throw Pikmin around, cool. Alright, now you're the last one left. I am immune to fire. I also don't have red Pikmin, so they're not immune. I'm immune to fire, right? Yeah, I'm immune to fire. Alright, take him out with yellow Pikmin. Done and done. Uh, that trap is gone. This one is gone too. I think I, I should be able to take this back to base without having to kill these guys. And is this the last? I hope this is the last trigger. We'll see. We'll see if it is. Once that bomb rock explodes, there's a bomb rock trap. Yeah, those are the last treasures. So once that's back, I can leave. I need to be careful as to not set off any more traps. I need to also escort that. Because as I said, there are different kinds of traps and different triggers for those. Some of them involve digging something up. Others involve carrying something back. And some just involve having Pikmin in the group. Enamel Buster. That's an apt name considering it has an almond on it. And that's it. That's it for sub-level 1. Let's skip the enemies and just head to the next level. I Hopefully the trend of me taking damage will not continue because I don't have that many hits left in me. And the boss is not one I want to have one captain on. Or even not one I want to have... Um, I want to have limited health on. Cavern of Chaos sub-level 2. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Don't, don't spring this on me. Don't spring a, a man at legs. No man at legs. Some snitch bugs. Which I'll take out quickly. Keep them in the air, and he's down. Down and dead. And the, the Pikmin are, are continuing to sing the song. Raising morale. Oh, you went that way. You are smart. But not smart enough. 
you can die too. Yeah, the Pikmin are singing, raising morale so that I, I will never, I will never lose my 100. They can continue singing the song. Alright, do all of these have treasures in them? Or do I have to defeat them all? I have to defeat that one. Yes. Alright. Uh, let's see how long this takes, because I don't have to kill them with my Pikmin. I mean, you, you might be asking, what? Yeah, I don't have to. And I haven't even shown, I haven't even talked about this yet. I've just been doing it the entire adventure. But the captains can punch. And I'm immune to fire, so by having both captains, I should be able to punch this guy to death. Let's see how long it takes. I'll, I'll defeat the first one. If it takes no time at all, then I'll try. But it looks like I may have to have Pikmin. This is also kind of dangerous. But I'll defeat the first one by punching it. Sadly, Olmar isn't quite as smart as I am, so he's a little bit worse at juking. Alternatively, I can actually dismiss Olimar. I've never talked about this either, but he will automatically avoid enemies. He's really smart about that. But, sadly, when he's actually following me, he's not so smart. Because, be because he trusts me, I guess. There now, there's actually an upgrade in the game that'll make me better at, at punching, but as for now, I don't think I will be, be defeating this guy with just punches. Maybe if I had that upgrade... Are you going to come the entire way? No, you're not. Okay. Maybe if I had that upgrade, I would, but as it stands, I do not have the numbers for that. All right. Let's throw the white Pikmin back. Do not need them in a scuffle. All right, this should be fine. Uh, we have one more white Pikmin. There we go. We may have to use a spray. Probably going to have to use a spray. Let's use this spray. And will this kill him? Will this kill him? Nice! It did. Alright, let's keep this spray going. Kill this guy. And this time, I'll be strategic about how I do this. So that more get on! Oh, come on, kill him. There, 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 okay. Well, I guess I won't be hearing the Pikmin sing anymore. They're about to run out of their, their juice, too. Alright, throw some on him. And actually, I'm just gonna keep throwing. Nope. Oh, that was close. That was close. But I had to use a spray there. I would have lost so many Pikmin doing that. And we got some jewelry, I guess. Cool. Here. Olimar, bring bring the rest of the crew here. That's all we needed to do. I mean, that was kind of a boss battle, too. Three of those guys is not, is not fun to face. It's not fun to see. And you have to defeat them, too. You can't just somehow cheese your way to victory. Normally, on one of these these sub-levels, I can try and lead them off the ledge, but this is a round area. I can't really do that. Alright, so let's take back all these treasures, and you know what? Let's take back the enemies, too. I, there's no need to, except for completion's sake, because I I lost through Pikmin doing this, so... I might as well... I, they might as well get a, a trophy of war. Alright, what is this thing? It looks like the Libra from Pikmin 1, but it is called the Essence of Despair. Alright, let's get another cutscene, okay. Gemstar Wife. Alright, second sub-level's down. Let's head to the third. We've lost three Pikmin thus far, all reds. Hopefully there is going to be a Queen Candy Pop button here, but I shouldn't depend on it. Also, all of these caves thus far appear to be themed. Themed towards caves that we've been to in the past. They're also elemental themed because we've used different Pikmin with each sub-level. Also, I forgot to proof the cave, but... I'll do that now. Whoa! Alright then. Have we seen that thus far? I don't think we have. We haven't seen them thus far either. Those 
are enemies from Pikmin 1. Here, can I get a shot of this guy? There we go, that's good enough. That is a Mammuta. And it's kind of hard to tell, but those eyes are actually not eyes, they're buttons. A really weird enemy. Uh, will he... Oh, he will, okay. I thought he only would attack me if I attacked him. But they won't kill Pikmin at all. Their sole purpose in life is to pound them into the ground. That's it. And they're actually kind of helpful, because if I ever have any leaf Pikmin, the Pikmin it pounds into the ground will actually instantly be turned into flowers! Alright, so this is kind of a trap cave. Boulder? No. Boulder? Alright, there's one there. Oh, he almost got one. Just want to set off all the treasure, or all the traps real quick. One here, yep, there it is. Yeah, this is definitely the trap, the trap floor. There are burgeoning spider warts everywhere. There are creeping chrysanthemums everywhere. And there are mammutas, which aren't really traps, they're really just there to be there. They had the, the enemy from Pikmin 1, they wanted to recycle it. Alright, I think the cave is clear now. So let's go about killing everything. Sorry, sorry dude. You don't mean me any harm, but you have to die. Man, that's overpowered. Hey, you. Let's throw, let's throw a yellow on there. And... He's dead. <laughs> it's so overpowered. Why are purple pigmen so good? How is that balanced? How? I don't understand. Uh, I knew they were going to be in there too. It's a trap floor for a reason. Also, <laughs> nectars galore. Wow. That's the most nectar I've ever seen. Now actually, the game can only handle 20 things of nectar on screen at one time. Or in a map. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's half of what we can actually see on screen at one time. All in one. Whoa, I forgot! Oh, he got a purple too. Here. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, I, I had to I had to do that. I, I didn't see him, I forgot. And it cost me my spray. Because I, he would have gotten at least two purples there. There's some lag, too. And they are dead. No. Oh, whew. That was close. That was so close. Getting some lag there, too. I, I'm actually going to attribute that directly to the the sprays. Or the, the nectar on the ground. Okay, you kindly... No! Two purples. Really? Really? Why are they not being stunned? There's such a high chance of that happening, and I lost two purples from that. That's not right. Well, that makes my, my job harder, game. Now I have to farm more purples. In fact, you know what? I know what's happening, too. I'm getting whites in my party. Let's just get purples and reds. And watch, watch how much smoother things go here. Throw a red. Get the purples on the wings. There we go. Just stagger them a little bit. What's happening, I think, is that they can't actually get stunned while coming out of the ground, and so I, I get the damage off, but not the not the rest. Alright, so there's something in... Oh yeah, there's something definitely buried there. Take that out real quick. Uh, send one of the captains to the base and watch out for traps traps whammies no when we dig it up there that's when the whammies will be this cave th this game definitely loves giving me the whammies is it a potato <laughs> is it a potato then this is instantly the best Zelda game ever created if you guys remember my whole rant on that Basically, if you don't watch my Breath of the Wild series, uh, Dave and I had a discussion on what would make the the next Zelda game perfect. And this was years before Breath of the Wild was even announced or talked about. This is right after Skyward Sword came out. 
And basically we said, we concluded our hours long conversation by saying, if you can pick up a random potato out of the ground and eat it, it will be the perfect Zelda game. And thus, the Pikmin 2 is the best Zelda game. <laughs> uh, oh man, so, ma so many good moments in these series. Child of the Earth, makes sense? Makes sense. So many great moments. In fact, there was a there were a couple of comments asking if I would do a memorable moments type series, which is something that Steven Plays does. Where are there more treasures at all here? No. Is that the last? That's the last one. All right. But uh, there have been some comments over the years asking if I would do a memorable moments type series, and honestly, at this point, maybe. Maybe. There are certainly more memorable moments each episode than there used to be. Before, I would just talk about what's happening in the game, but now I go on tangents. Like, when I talk about Tom Bergeron saving our lives with the power of, of Super Saiyan and, like, <laughs> Infernal Vegetable. And then he will eventually get, like, Cloud Sword, and then, <laughs> like, the, the One Ring. <laughs> eventually, he will just become every... Every series rolled into one. All right, next less next level. This this one was weird enough. Now, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hurry! I'm just gonna get it. Yeah, I did it. Uh, I recognize this floor. Water Wraith? I don't think they spring the Water Wraith on me. At all. In other floors. They better not. Because <laughs>